Hello everybody, in this quick video snippet, we're gonna take a look at the cash receipts report. So to get there, you just go to accounting, then go down to cash receipts list. Now in my date range, I'm using from November 1st, 2019 through November 30th, 2020. So you can choose whatever date range you want to see all receipts received between that date range. Over here, we got some check boxes. We got subtotal by date, subtotal by check number, and of course, print to screen. Now I wanna show you real quick, if you uncheck the subtotal by date and then you just click start search, it just shows you a list of everything, uh, just kind of all together. Now, if you click subtotal by date and then start searching, it groups them up by the date. And then you can see your subtotal based on whatever you received for that date. And then you also have subtotal by check number, which then shows it by the check number subtotals. You can have both of those checked as well for just a little bit more um, information. Uh, up here in the top left, you have your print. Uh, you have print options. All right, so you can include the client name, invoice date, client reference number, and then your job trading partner number for the client. Uh, same with the display, you have display options, and you can choose uh, different things or the same. And that's what we have here. So what I want to do, um, right above the grand total, $861.88, we have print to screen. So I'm going to go ahead and print a screen, start searching for my, I uncheck the subtotal by check number. So it's only got subtotal by date. And I wanna print the list. This shows you a list of your cash receipts report with everything that you had, uh, had displayed. It's a nice neat format, very easy to read and you can you know print it or do whatever you need to with it. The last thing I wanna mention is that you can choose this by one client only if you want. By not selecting this box and selecting your one client, you're looking at every single client in your system. Or if you were just looking at a specific client for a specific range, you could do that. You can also save this to Excel if it's easier for you. So that's pretty much as simple as that. If you have any questions, give us a call 407-679-1539 or email us at support at dbsinfo.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.